Hey, Tom McKay here, just coming on real quick to let you know that I did record video for this interview, but unfortunately there was a lot of problems with the camera. For some reason during the recording, it was auto-focusing a lot, like to the point of distraction. So I decided to remove that entirely and just leave it with the audio interview. I hope that's okay, and yeah. Hey there, this is Sam Astroth from Astro the Incarnate, and we're here with Metal Robot Reviews. Interview. Welcome to the program. This is No Robot Reviews. Welcome to the Metal Robot Reviews channel. I'm your host, Tom McKay, and today we are at the Garrison in Toronto, Ontario for the CD release party of Lindsay Schoolcraft, headlined by Astaroth Incarnate and Darkstone Crow. Darkstone Crows, I believe it is, yeah? Okay, I'm sitting here with Astroth Incarnate. How are you guys doing tonight? Pretty good. Doing quite good about it. Here? Yeah, we're doing, we're doing great. Are oh, you a part of this too? I'm just assuming because you're sitting here as well. <laughs> All right, so how are you guys doing today? How are you guys feeling? Quite good, man. Um, we prepared for this for like a year. It's two, well, two days short of a year, so it took some time, but I think it's going to be worth it. We're live streaming the show, so if you're not here, watch it. <laughs> Even better, live streaming the show tonight. All right, and how do you feel about today? Uh, feeling good. Uh, we've just been practicing uh, quite a bit. So, uh, yeah, we're we're stoked to just uh, get our new material out there right now. So We're just going to start this off real and simple with a very, very important question. I ask every band this question, every artist I've ever interviewed. If you could be any cereal box character, who would you be? A cereal box character? Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> what about that tiger dude? Tony the Tiger? Yeah. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, I was gonna say the same thing, actually. <laughs> He's a personal favorite. I'm not gonna lie. Getting into the sound of music that you guys uh, you always do, you've you've been described on the metal archives as a blackened death metal or melodic black metal, symphonic metal, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But you guys describe it as, from what I understand, apocalyptic metal. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, just because the way we do our songwriting and the mentality we have when we're writing it. Uh, it's an apocalyptic mind state and it kind of puts everyone on the edge and we want to try to challenge each other and write the best song we can possibly write with the right meaning that we want to write with and like try to bring it live. We think about the life aspect as well when we're writing. So yeah, just the way we approach songwriting, it just felt like that was our mentality. So that's basically why we call it that. Tonight you are performing with Lindsay Schoolcraft and Darkstone Crows, December 6th. Uh, and judging by the lineup, we've got some goth metal, groove metal, and then you guys come in. in your know, apocalyptic metal, black and death, whatever you want to call it at home. So uh, my question is, how does it feel to be the heaviest band performing tonight? Uh, I can't complain. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. I, I absolutely agree, yeah. We'll be going in soon. Some people might bleed. Last time we played at the Garrison, I had a wall of death and like this guy's head was like bleeding and he was happy about it, so that was good. I mean, as long as he's happy about it, that's all, that's all you can ask for. Oh my God. I, I've heard that uh, from certain sources that you guys like Cradle Filth, is that correct? Uh, maybe just a little, like very little. In any way, would you say that, seeing as you're performing with Lindsay tonight, would you say that her work as in terms of her solo or even with Cradle of Filth or any of her other projects has influenced uh, the songs in any way, shape or form, even if it's a little bit? Oh, no, that's great. I used to take vocal lessons, or still do, take vocal lessons from her for clean vocals. And, um, yeah, we just became really good friends. And she's in Cradle. They're one of my favorite bands, so... Uh, with our new songwriting, direction change, keyboards, orchestration, choirs, like I was like, okay, that feels like uh, we have a, like Ashley in the band right now, so it's like a female keyboard player, and she also takes vocal lessons from Lindsay. So, anyways, uh, we just know her very well. It just felt natural to cover a song we all really liked, and then I also thought about how we could make it like our own and kind of just connect with artists from around here that I've made friends with. So I got Alina and Voldemort's in into this song just to like I don't know make it more special because we're covering something it's supposed to be about like bringing people together and stuff now we're not out of the way of uh, you know other bands instead of you guys how about we talk about you guys so your new EP Ascendance just dropped today on uh, digital platforms you're performing tonight as well for a release party in a way would you consider this a celebration 
of your release in more ways than one? Of course. Uh, Pablo can tell you. Uh, this so- uh, The song, or whatever you're hearing now, is four years old. We played this live, trying to figure out, it just never sounded right. We're like, we just we want to do more with this, and then we just started messing around, and members came in, left, whatever happened, and basically we settled on like a team, like our producer, Tyler and Alex, and Spencer helping us out with the orchestration, and working with Alina on some choirs and stuff. It's great. Like, we have, like, uh, area of options to just try out new things and work with uh, different sounds. Pablo does like a lot of the songwriting. Uh, and Sergio also does songwriting. And then we kind of all meet meet up and like put together. Uh, we generally have like a theme for all the songs. So it just happens like I'll tell them something and they'll just come up with something that just fits somewhere. And it, it works. It's pretty natural. So our songwriting is like moving along really well. We have a full album plan. It's, it's kind of, well, not fully done, but somewhat done. But yeah, we're just putting out this EP because we're like really excited that we're very happy with our new sound. It's a, this is a celebration of our new sound. Um, this is what we've been working on for a while and we have even bigger plans, but at least we can give everyone a piece of what's to come, like of the, of the full picture. So yeah, this is like, this is just a taste of what we have in store basically. And we just want to show everyone, you know, we don't want to wait another three or two years or whatever years to uh, release the big picture. We just want to, uh, yeah, give people, uh, you know, a taste of what we have, right? What, we, what we've what we been doing for a while, actually. So it's good to get it out there, actually. All right. Well, you heard it here first. We got a new full length coming up soon, probably. Like, how long do you think that'll take to... We'll see. Like, we're also testing our live uh, performance. Our live performances, if you notice tonight, will be a lot more theatrical, which is why we're, like, live streaming it. So people can just see, like, how our live... So we, a lot of people uh, complimented our live performances before, and I always felt like I could do more. So like it, we took some time to really think about how to bring our songs to life. Like what we're talking about does it does it look like that on stage when you're hearing it? It's like you could look at something and he listen to it at the same time, and if both things match, then it's like more special of being there, and you know. And so yeah, we try to do as much as we can, but when when it's right, we'll release it. We'll probably keep everyone updated and not leave in the dark so we'll see looking at the track listing for the new ep uh i am noticing like you know as a prog fan whenever i see alpha and omega i immediately start connecting like there might be a connecting story given the fact that back in 2015 the band periphery did that uh with their double album juggernaut is that what's going on with i am fire i am death in this uh, ep uh well yeah like if you follow like i, I kind of said it's part one and part two but it's like cut from the same cloth, you could say. So it's different, but it links together. And basically the way I kind of told the story, the real story is by the two uh, music videos we put out. So the first video kind of talks about something and the second video talks about something else. And I made some Facebook posts. So if you also dig through those, you'll figure out what I'm talking about. And that story actually ties into the full length album, which you'll find out how, like when it comes out but yeah if you like i don't know i like leaving little like you know cookie trails like you can spend some time and figure out some fun stuff and just have more fun with the music and you know, stuff like that do you have any like hints to that new story uh that you can give to the metal robot audience at home oh well this story is about life and death and rebirth that's fun <laughs> fair enough fair enough uh outside of music what would you consider to be uh, you write lyrics to your music, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, what would you consider the uh, like uh, outside of music to be your best inspiration? I.e., from books, movies, video games, whatever. Uh, what would you consider your best uh, source of uh, inspiration for lyrics? For lyrics, yeah. Actually, um, a lot of it is like I, I write in uh, duality, so I'll always write a fictional and a non-fictional version. And if I write the fictional version, there will be a non-fictional meaning to it and vice versa. So uh, it comes a lot from Lord of the Rings t- 
type of stuff, and then some anime and yeah, some video games and other stuff. Like I grew up playing those. So uh, besides that, like movies and other things and other bands I look into uh, and kind of like worlds they create, like King Diamond, from like the whole character he has, how he performs live. That's like one of my big inspirations, like for just writing lyrics, make, making meanings and telling stories, and then try to bring it live. I think like all my guys, they agree that we all have fun. Ah, uh, yeah, we we enjoy what we do. <laughs> all right, cool. Thank God you began to talk. I was beginning to think you were mute for a second there. <laughs> Jesus. Final question. Tonight, uh, December sixth at the Garrison, you're performing here in Toronto. Tomorrow night, you're performing in Montreal. Now. I don't know dick from shit when it comes to geography, but that's definitely not a two-hour drive. It's, it's like about a six-hour drive, give or take. So, like, just out of curiosity, what? Are, how are you planning on getting there before sound check? Do you guys like? Uh, are you gonna start trekking it there after the show I ends? Know, I'm just uh, after the show. I'm just crashing at Lindsay's, and then basically we're gonna go there in the morning before sound check, and then crash there and then come back. It's not hard. Okay, so basically a speedy drive down the 401. Got it. All right. Yeah. So thank you so much for uh, stopping by. The new album, uh, EP Ascendance, is out now on digital platforms. And uh, can we, or is it in physical form as well? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, like if you go to our band camp, like just uh, we put out everything we have, like CDs, merch and everything on our band camp. And then it's just, it's pretty much plastered everywhere. So like, if you look up our name, you'll probably find something. <laughs> Will there be any physical versions here tonight at the show? Oh, definitely. Yeah. And all the merch is here, too. So. Perfect. I'm going to pick a couple up. All right. So you heard it here. It's on all streaming platforms and in physical form, Bandcamp, at, and at any of the shows. So if you want a physical copy, make sure to go to those. Is there anything you want to say uh, to close out the video? Yeah. Uh, I guess uh, thanks for the support. And I hope you guys enjoy Ascendance. Uh, a lot of hard work has been put into it. And yeah. And I uh, hope to see you at the shows. Thanks again, guys. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Click subscribe if you haven't already. Check out Astaroth Incarnate, and I'll see you in the mosh pit next time. Have a good night.